What is up, everybody out there? Artists of Strong Style here. Here, I'm going to show you a deck. Now, this deck is... Okay, you ever seen the Magician Girls? Okay, the Magician Girls, and then what I have searched for a long time to work is the Fortune Ladies. So, running a regular Fortune Lady deck was pretty hard for me to do. I couldn't find any kind of methods that could work with it. Like running it with Cyber Dragon, running with Dark Samorg, if you know that, running it with Monarchs. It's just pretty so hard. But I found a way to work with it so smoothly with the Magician Girls. Now, I do not run all the Fortune Ladies. I'm only using three, which I'll show you. Now, this is how I made this, and it works so well. Because I'm going to show you. Okay, yeah. We'll go with the Magician Girls. So, the Barry. Barry Magician Girl. When she is summoned out, you can search for any Magician Girl from your deck to your hand. When it would be attacked, you could switch it to Defense Mode and Special Summon any Magician Girl from your deck to the field. Except for itself. So most likely it's your Searcher. You can search for any Magician Girl. The Chocolate Magician Girl. Chocolate Magician Girl is considered, I say, is the best Magician Girl out of all. Because, yeah, they do have, it, it may be a 16 attacker, but they have so much potential in the deck, which is okay. Chocolate Magician Girl. When this is summoned out, you can discard one Spellcaster card from your hand to the graveyard. Draw one card. Now that's one effect. The second effect is if the Chocolate Magician Girl were to be attacked, you can special summon one Spellcaster from the graveyard to the field. Then that monster were to be attacked to the graveyard. And pretty much that... So yeah, that attack will go to the one, to the Spellcaster you brought to the graveyard, and the attack points of that monster would be cut in half. Think of it that way. A 3,000 attacker would have to attack Chocolate Magician Girl. It makes an attack. It gets cut in half. Then that monster that were to attack the Chocolate Magician Girl actually switches and attacks the one you bring from the graveyard. And again, that attack is cut in half. So most likely your opponent's gonna sacrifice their own monster. They're gonna kill themselves. So that's why the magician girls are have so much potential in the deck that I love about them. They are just fun to do. So yes, chocolate magician girl. Discard one spellcaster to the graveyard. Draw one card. When it would when it would be attacked, special summon one from the graveyard to the field, that target must go to the one you bring to the field. That monster gets cut in half, and it must attack the one that you're going to bring from the graveyard. That's Chocolate Magician Girl. Now we'll go to the Kiwi Magician Girl. During either player's turn, You can discard this card. Then, Magician Girl Monster you control, currently control, gain 300 attack and defense for each Magician Girl Monster with different names on the field and in the graveyards until the end of this turn. Spellcaster type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects and your opponent cannot target them with card effects if you do the effect. Either way, it's just a good 18 attacker and one of the Magician Girls you're going to need in the deck. And then my last one I use out of the Magician Girls is the Apple Magician Girl. Yeah, 12. But here's the thing also. It has good potential as well. It may just be a 12 attacker, but it almost does. It has almost the same thing as the Magician Girl Chocolate. Chocolate Magician Girl. Because when Apple Magician Girl were to be attacked, then you can special summon one level 5 or lower spellcaster from your hand to the field. 
that attacking monster that would attack the apple magician girl would be cut in half. And that's the target it must attack. So just there you go. Summon apple magician girl. If it were to be attacked, you special summon one level five or lower spellcaster from your hand to the field. That monster must attack the one you bring from your field, from your hand. And it's cut in half. So special summon from your hand, special summon from the graveyard. Must target the one that's that you brought from your graveyard. Must target the one from your hand. That monster's cut in half. The monster's cut in half. Or sometimes think of it this way. Attack, be cut in half. Attack, be cut in half a second time. And then the one you bring from the graveyard, that one must attack. That's in the graveyard. And it's double cut in half. Think of it that way. So that's why the Magician Girls are so, so fun. And they have so much potential in the deck. Now that's just the Magician Girls. Now we'll go with the Fortune Ladies. Fortune Ladies, it takes... It took a damn long time for me to work it completely. So, the Dark Fortune Lady. It's a level 5. It starts at 2,000 attack. Because, yeah, question mark, but it'll start times 400. So, 4 times 5, it'll start at 2,000. Once per turn, it'll increase up by a level. And it'll gain... 400. Now, what Fortune Lady Dark does, if you attack a monster and destroy it, as long as you have a Fortune Lady on the field, which is herself, you can special summon another Fortune Lady in your graveyard to the field. So, that's what it does. Fortune Lady Dark. Then, the Fortune Lady, Water. Okay, Water. A four-level monster. Increase up by 300 within each turn if it's not destroyed and a level. Here's the thing, though, with Fortune Lady, Water. When you special summon this, when you have another Fortune Lady on the field, you're going to draw two cards. So think of it this way another fortune lady and then you special summon one from your graveyard okay attack destroy a monster special summon the watcher you have a fortune lady on the field one special summon draw two cards just think of it that way simple just draw or combos i'll show you that you can do when you're going to draw almost up to three cards if that were to be the situation which, okay, I'll show you a little combo with that. And then only one Fortune Lady Earth. A six star times 400. So it'll start at 24. Now, increase the level, yeah, by one, maximum of 12. When the level of this card increases, inflict 400 points of damage to your opponent but it's so powerful it, it's the powerful fortune lady on the for a fortune lady deck there is the wind there is the fire there is the light i don't use those because you don't need those all you really need is possibly use the dark water and at least one earth as for other spell casters the blizzard princess now okay it is a level eight but you can tribute summon this card in face up attack position by tributing one spellcaster monster. After this card is normal summon, your opponent cannot activate spell trap cards for the rest of this turn. Interesting. You only have to tribute one, not two, just one, because you have to tribute a spellcaster. All the fortune ladies, all the magician girls, Everything is Spellcaster. Interesting card. Now it's only for that turn. 
So if you had more spellcasters, and you have this out, on that one turn, cannot be destroyed. And last but not least, Dima, the Dark Magician of Chaos. During the end phase, if this card was normal or special, you can target one spell card at the end phase, add it to your hand. If it were to destroy a monster, yes, the monster is, the, the monster is banished. If this card were to be destroyed, it gets banished. So fair enough, Dark Magician of Chaos, yeah, if it's destroyed, it gets sent. It gets banished. Everyone particularly knows that card. So, let's go on. Magical Dimension you're always going to have in the deck for Spellcasters. Of course, yeah, you can only activate this card while you have a face-up Spellcaster and you want to play one from your hand. Here's the thing also, it does not target. So a lot of cards that say you you cannot target them, no, you can hit them with mag Magical Dimension because it does not target them. And destroy one monster on the field. Pot of Duality. Okay, reason of that. You're going to reveal three cards. You're going to choose one. Select one. Send the other two back to the graveyard. Reshuffle. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because you're not special summoning a lot. So, not bad to have Pot of Duality in the deck. Solidarity. Okay. Nobody really runs this card anymore, but I do. If you have one original printed type of a monster in your graveyard, face up monsters you control with the same type gain 800 attack. Everything is spellcaster, so solidarity works. You just need one in the graveyard, which most likely sometimes you do most of the time, or sometimes you might not, but solidarity is very, very consistent, very, very good, and it's continuous. So if you have like two solidarities, that's going to increase them times 800. So 800 attack more you're going to give to these spellcasters. And then just everyone knows Dark Hole and Raigeki. Destroy our monsters, destroy your opponent's monsters. Now for the trap cards. One of the best magician circles. When a spellcaster type monster declares an attack, rather your opponent or you, special summons one spellcaster type monster with 2,000 attack or less face up in attack position. Okay. And then, yes, there you go 2,000 or less. Then yes, you start off with 2,000 attacks, so Dark can work. Or if you have another Fortune Lady and you want to bring out the water because it's less than 2,000, you can draw your two cards. So more combos, I'll show you why Magician Circles works. Magician's Defense, okay. While you control another spellcaster, and this is face up, you're going to take half damage, but you must have a spellcaster. When this gets destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon one spellcaster type monster from your graveyard to the field. And then just the simple Mirror Force, Stormy Mirror Force, Quakey Mirror Force, and then Compulse. Destroy all face-up attack position monsters. Send all face-up monsters back to the back to your opponent's hand. Put all monsters in your opponent's face down permanent. They cannot switch and go back to attack mode. Target one monster on the field, send it to its owner's hand.
Okay, this was your hand. Already, of course, yeah. If you're going second, you're dealing with monsters, red geki, everything. Go part of Dwali, see what you get. One, two, and three. Now, okay, you can go traps, you can go monster. Me, I would choose Maybe you want to play defense, so yeah, you want to go choose your magician's defense. Send the other two back. So then, you got. So, set your defense, set your circle. Now, you can go already. Maybe you just want to search for a, search for one. Maybe just get your apple. If you were, to, if it were to be attacked, okay, switch, special summon one. Maybe you just want to, yeah, just set your apple. Now it would, now it would be destroyed, but since the defense mode, so yeah, pot Rageki and. Bury magicians in the grave in the graveyard. You have Apple out. So you drew into okay, very good. You got solidarity. Activate solidarity. Gain eight hundred attack. Because you have a spellcaster. So Apple would be not 20, not 12, it would be 28. Okay. Most likely, okay, yeah, go chocolate already. You want to use chocolate's effect. Send away one. Okay, so it could be any. Maybe you just want to, yeah, send away your dark. Draw a card. And you drew into a, okay, you drew into your Blizzard Princess. You want to play defense now, because you want to play defense? So you have apple and chocolate. Remember, if apple were to be attacked, you could special summon out another level five or lower. So you can play another apple and have defend and have your princess because that's a level eight. So that would be the situation. Okay, you draw into a water. So then, effect of effect of magician girl throw away. draw. Okay, so you're getting a good hand right here because you're playing, you have a lot of defense right here. So yeah. Now, to play, of course, yeah, princess. Tribute. Princess. Because you could tribute one. Your opponent cannot play any magical traps. Here's the thing, though. You want to make an attack. Whenever an attack would be played. So yeah, you're going to go into Magician's Circle as well. You can special summon a level by 2,000 or less. Particularly, I would go by this. You want to bring out the Dark. Because when dark, when dark destroys a monster, you can special summon a Fortune Lady. Maybe you want to get into five cards already. Get a Dark or, this is what I mean, Water. So you have Apple Magician, Blizzard, Chocolate, 
Dark Water. When one is special summoned, you're going to draw two cards. You do into this, okay. You're gonna set. So just like that, you just have five huge monsters straight like that. They're not huge, but look, with solidarity, that increases them. You have good defense right here, or if you were to wish to, yeah. Okay. Pretty much that's the whole type of thing. So this is what I mean. Like, if you have this, you're going to throw away. Here's a little trick. Watch. Okay. You have these two. They have a monster out. Okay, Chocolate Magician Girl, you're going to throw away your water. You're going to draw into your card, whatever it is. When Dark destroys a monster, you special summon a Fortune Lady. Draw another two cards. So that's one card, draw another two. You just drew, you just drew three cards instantly, straight like that. And you're bringing so many out. So you still have this out, and you drew into another Dark. Okay, fine. Tribute your water. Summon out your dark. When dark destroys a monster, special summon another fortune lady. And then just, there you go. If you want to play more, okay, fine. Tribute again. Blizzard Princess. You, all you have to do is tribute one. Destroy, okay, destroy a monster. Special summon again your water. And just keep on drawing. That's the whole point of, of why I can play so many. <laughs> and then just, yeah, Magician Circle can get dark. So let's say, yes, you do have dark out. You play Magician Circle. You can do water. Draw two cards. And then, yeah. It were to be attacked. Special summon one. So even if you want to bring out your dark again. Okay. It would attack the dark. That monster's cut in half. Apple were to be attacked. Dark is a five star, so you can go dark. Or if you have another fortune lady, Apple were to be attacked. Special summon the water from your hand. You have a fortune lady out. Draw your two cards. If you wanted a tribute for your earth, to do your earth, okay, tribute. Yeah, this out. Attack, destroy a monster. Special on the water, draw two cards. You have another, okay, tribute, attack, destroy, special summon, draw another two cards. That's how so much fun this deck can be. You're just going at it over and over. Even if you just have this, you, ha you haven't even done the 
dark yet or you need an earth or you need the water and it's in your hand okay fine just go chocolate magician girl send away your watcher draw your card attack with the fortunately dark destroy it special summon the watcher and draw your two cards You have your earth in your hands or a can you can do this let me get a okay you have your blizzard All right, then I'm going to choose Okay, what you can do, okay? I'm going to throw away Earth. Send away. Draw your card. Tribute. Visit Princess. Attack. Destroy. Bring any of these two. You want a good attack? Have a good attack. You want to draw? You can bring and draw more. So... That's how fun and easy to do this running the Fortune Ladies and the Magician Girls. And then, yes, with Magicians, Circle, so easy to do. So, Magician Girls running it with the Fortune Ladies. Hope you enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show you more deck profiles. I'll be playing more video games. I'll be playing more games with some friends of mine. Hope you enjoyed these all and especially more videos coming up. Talk to you later. Peace.